All right, first let's take a look at the controls here. And you'll see that for my collective, I have no curve, straight line. For the cyclic, a number 10 curve, just a slight curve. Same thing on the roll, 10. And on the rudder or anti-torque, we have no curve. Gives you the best control over all, all four axes. Now on the special tab, the rudder trimmer is irrelevant. You can have it on or off. Doesn't matter. I kind of like it on. Because I use it sometimes. But the trimmer mode is default. Command cockpit. Custom cockpit English. Now for the map. What I've done is I've set up a a little flight here from I put a pad out here on this island with the requisite trucks and communication vehicles I even threw in a fire truck because it's red and it's pretty even though it doesn't do anything there we go now while we're over here in the harbor, there's this little square peninsula that sticks out. And I set up another base over here just like the other one. That's going to be our landing zone. We've got the prerequisite trucks and communication vehicles ready to rock and roll. So we're going to fly from the island over here in the river over to the peninsula in the Toomey Harbor. But I'm not going to be making a straight line. And the reason why is when I get to here, I'm going to want to make a wide curve and then slow down. That gives you more control. As you're approaching, you're going to set the autopilot so that it doesn't drift and it doesn't uh, start spinning. Okay, let's fly. Alright. What we're really looking at here is the autopilot channel H. Or for you guys in Great Britain, H. <laughs> autopilot H. The little buttons down here, you can turn it on and off. But man, you can't reach them when you're flying. So you got to map two buttons on your stick. One for on, one for off. And uh, for takeoff, we're going to want to have it on. Now what that's going to do is it's going to keep us pointing pretty much in the direction that it's set. Now, I like to put just a little bit of back stick and lock it in with the trimmer. Okay, so let's take off. As you can see, it takes off pretty much straight up. I've left the autopilot on. I'm pushing forward on the stick to try to get some speed. There we go. Now I've left the landing gear down just for this demonstration because it's a short flight and I always, always forget to turn it back down. I'm so used to flying the Huey with skids that I always forget to lower the landing gear whenever I come in to land anywhere. So we're going to fly past the Toomey Harbor. Now the autopilot is still on and still set right where it was when I took off. You can see down here the green light is on. 
I'm using my stick and my trimmer to level things off. I don't have to worry about the pedals. That's what the autopilot is for. As you can see, we're flying nice and straight and level. And the ball, the anti-slip ball, is right in the center. Nice straight ahead flight. Now, we're approaching the coast here. At this point, I'm going to want to make my turn. The autopilot will fight you if you try to turn with it on. That's why you need to have the off button set on your stick. Now I turned it off and now I can use my pedal and my stick to make a nice graceful turn. You can see the landing zone down below on that little square peninsula. There we go. Now we're going to fly by and just like I showed you on the map I'm going to make a wide graceful turn. All the while I'm doing this now, I'm lowering my collective and pulling back on the stick. When you hear that pop it a pop it a pop it a sound, that means that it's really biting into the air and starting to slow you down. Now, as I turn it back towards the base, this is where the autopilot comes in again. Okay, the base is just to the right of those smokestacks. So I'm going to line up in that direction and I'm going to hit the autopilot right about there. Now it's going to continue to track straight ahead and I am now using my stick and my collective to slow down and descend at the same time. As you can see I pull up on the stick to slow down, push down on the stick, back, collective up and down. You have to work your sticks and collective, get it balanced so that it pretty much flies straight. But you want to come down slowly, gradually. I can't emphasize those words. I'm coming in now. As you can see, I'm slowed down almost to a hover. It's not spinning out of control because the autopilot is keeping it pointing straight ahead. All of this is done with the stick and the collective. Now, a little bit, a little touch there on the edge, but overall, a good landing. 